What's up everybody? This is Alex, the Hebrew Hammer, and uh, I'm filming this video because I want to talk a little bit about the L-sit, which I think is one of the more undervalued ab exercises. A lot of people just look at it as some sort of a party trick, um, and if you've ever tried to hold one for 20 seconds or longer, you'll know that's definitely not the case. One of the great things about it is that it doesn't just train ab strength, that also trains your, uh, and especially not just your external appearance. A lot of people, uh, yeah, particularly in articles you read in men's and women's magazines, try to show you how to isolate your abs from uh, the rest of your body. And there's a time and a place for that. The time is never. You can probably guess the place as well. So uh, you won't have to worry about ab isolation with this. You're going to integrate everything from your deep ab muscles that you can't see and show off at the beach to your external ab muscles, which you can show off at the beach, as well as all the muscles surrounding your hips. And uh, it'll even add some active flexibility in your low back and uh, all the aforementioned areas. Active flexibility is very important because as uh, world-renowned kettlebell and strength expert Pavel Tsatsalin points out in his book, Relax in the Stretch, which if you haven't read, you should, active flexibility will do more to help you prevent injuries than just passive flexibility alone. So because the LSIT focuses on all of these things and integrates them all into one move, uh, a lot of back and hip problems can either be prevented or in some cases even fixed just by focusing on it. So the best way to go about getting to an L set, even if you can already do one without a problem, is to go through a progression sequence. So it's going to look a little something like this. A lot of people like to do it just static hold to static hold to static hold, and I think that's great. But I like to add a dynamic element in between. It adds a little bit of variety and you get some dynamic strength work in as well. So first step, you're going to do a bent leg hold. Second step, it's going to be bent leg to straight leg. After that, you're just going to hold the straight leg hold. Once you've got that down, you're going to go from straight leg hold to end hold. And end hold is kind of like a more advanced bent leg hold. After that, just the end hold by itself. Once you've got that down, you're going to kick your legs out into the L sit and back into the end hold. And finally, you will have arrived at the L sit. And if you feel so inclined, you can take the movement to the next level and do the advanced L-sit. To work into that, you're going to pump your hips forward and backward in the L-sit. And before you know it, you'll be doing an advanced L-sit. This is going to require a lot more tricep and upper back strength, so uh, take your time to work on those things as well in addition to that move. So there you have it, the l -sit tutorial. Give those a shot. Don't just shrug them off anymore as a party trick or whatever. Spend a good amount of time using those and you'll probably find that not only will your midsection strength go up, your back will probably feel better, your hips will feel stronger, and uh, it might even make you a better person. I don't know. So check out my article on l -sit tutorial on the Progressive Calisthenics blog. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Share it with your friends. And up next is going to be the L-Sit variation video and the V-Sit tutorial. See you next time.